What's going on guys? Welcome back to CK2 Plus is Emperor Alphonse the Lionheart. Uh, Holy Roman Emperor, not yet crowned by the Pope, and we're gonna have to wait on that because we need to be at peace. And not only are we fighting the Canaries, which I would have not thought that this one or two province guy could actually have an impact. They are actually, they're actually very annoying. Um, but anyways, we also have another war that we're in, and this is this sort of separatist belt uh, that is stretching across or throughout the Empire. And yeah, the Independence League has uh, declared war, and it's actually not a whole lot of people, but they do have 42,000 men. And obviously... We only have our own troops and those of our vassal, uh, well, actually just our own troops and our retinue to rely on. And half of our own troops are currently sent south to deal with uh, this war. I'm thinking about actually ordering them back because what is it that we're going to lose here? Um, Geisen's claim on Ifni. Do I really care? I think I don't really care about Ifni as much as I care about the rest of the realm. So, what we're going to do is, we are going to use our 21,000 men here. Well, we can actually have our daughter lead some troops. Holy shit. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll have the Duke of Bourbon, uh, Duke of Alencon as well. And we'll have to move quickly and crush them before they can actually consolidate their forces. They've got 6,000 6, here. They've got 10,000 there. I'm not really sure how they get... 40,000 <clears throat> doesn't really make much sense to me, but you know, I guess I'll just have to believe it. Uh, yeah, and I what I will do is we are chast, I realize this, but I still think that we are smart enough to understand if we want to stay in control, we need a son, otherwise, this realm might really very well fall apart. And so, um, I'm gonna go with the family focus. This is increasing our fertility, increasing our diplomacy, helping with vassal limit, and also it gives us extra health. Uh, I mean, all of our <clears throat> previous emperors have died. Um, actually, we can't see this here. Our previous emperors have died, you know, at the age of 45. Well, 30. Wait, hold on. You've died at 57, you've died at 54, the other one died at 52, um, and we're 53. But it's very possible that we live until 70. <clears throat> that, you know, I've seen that before. And it would be incredibly amazing if Alphans could live that long, because that might give us the time to fix the Empire. But for now, we need to win this war, so uh, let's let's get ready for that. Um, of course, we have Smallpox. Also, by the way, whatever happened to the Black Death... Oh, yeah, that's actually an issue here. That explains why we have such terrible supply over here. And I need to make sure that Adabold is not here. Yeah, we need to make sure that he <clears throat> does not get sick. That would be terrible. All right, so my retinue is already moving out. And I've got 3,000 men here. Duke of Auvergne. It's really just our French vassals that we have to rely on right now. I mean... They're not even giving us any troops either, so that's sad. And come on. Duke of Doge of Ancona is now trouble, troubling us. But, oh well. I mean, that's just something that we can't really deal with at the moment. We need... Okay, there's 15,000. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll go to Metz. We'll destroy these 20... Uh, these 11,000. Then we'll need to deal with the 15,000. And if we win these two battles, I think we're in a good. Sh I think we're in good shape. Okay, so this is planes. And you're gonna arrive on the 13th of May. Okay, we're gonna wait for you there, and we'll bring our reinforcements as well. Now, the only problem is we don't have a whole lot of money, and yeah, you know what we'll do? We'll have to call in Ireland, 12,000 men. We'll call in Navarra, 4,000 men. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to cheat, but we're going to call in Sardinia, 10,000 men. <clears throat> and the rest, they're not actually our tributaries, so we'll leave it at that. Okay, come on. Okay, you've arrived, and we'll crush you now. Our, our daughter leading in the center. Uh, in fact, you know what they might do? They might actually deal with this 
Southern War for us. I wouldn't mind. Ireland may, might do that, actually. That'd be really cool. In fact, can I tell them to do that? Whoops, what the hell? Whoa! This is the first time I clicked on this. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know this existed. So what does this even... Oh, this shows the damage, morale damage, and the defense. That is so cool. Wow. I have, I think, 2,000 hours in CK2. This is the first time I've clicked on this button. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, so this is all our retinue. Damage. Oh, that's only because it's 1,400 men. Damage of 17. It's not actually all that much. 0 0.8 damage. That's even worse. Why is the damage so bad? I don't quite understand. Oh, this is definitely... I think this is the entire strength. Hmm. Still weird. Why do they have so much more? They have 16,000 defense. We have 1,500. It doesn't seem right. That does not seem right at all. I'm not really sure what these numbers mean, but it seems very strange for certain. Maybe it's damage they've taken? It's hard to say. But anyways, <clears throat> okay. I'm not going to send in the rest of our forces. I think this is fine for now. Obviously, it's incredibly costly, but we might ha just have to take a loan. Okay, there's 16,000 men coming, but they will be too late. And of course, the Kungo Hogan has taken this opportunity to declare war. Uh, wow. I mean, I gotta give it to them. You know, they want Timbuktu. Yeah, you know what? Fine. You, you can have it. I, I, I don't really care about Africa that much at this very moment. We've got other things to deal with. But I love, I honestly love how the AI is actually, you know, they're, this is the best opportunity they have to take some lands. I'm pretty sure they will fail, but still, I appreciate the effort. Okay, 7,000 men destroyed. We might even win this defensive, uh, this uh, independence, f against this independence faction. And, um, yeah, we'll have to cross a river here. That could be the issue. Um, I don't want them to regroup, though. They will win in the long run. The longer this goes on for, um, they, because they have more resources... I will run out of money, so we need to uh, do this quickly. And we do maybe also need a commander here. Thank you. Duke of Champagne, maybe. All right. Okay, they've got... We're here in Baden. Let's bring our troops up. Let's come up here as well. What's this now? A marriage between one of my courtiers? Fine. Go. Go for it. That's so cool. And now people are stealing money from us as well. Oh my god. Okay, so we definitely need to take a loan. <clears throat> um, 400 gold only. Okay, well I'm not going to take it just now. But we will have to take it at some point. Um, and yeah, we're just going to have to let them do their thing right now. There's nothing I can really do to stop them. They have 22,000 men. Wow. That was just bad. Okay. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is let them combine our armies. Is that really smart? Mm, I don't know. But there's some people, Greater Poland, joining us in this holy war. I suppose that's great. I guess we'll let them lose some troops to attrition. And we're currently visiting sick people. I'm not sure if that's the right time. Um, you're a gruff diplomat. You're also very attractive. Can marry you off to the King of Castile. Who's also heir to the King of Navarra. I think I will. And, uh, my ward is tall. We have a lot of tall children. 
and attractive. Oh yeah, we already know about that. That's not that's not new. Okay, can we get this alliance? Yes. Let's bring Castile's 7,000 men into this. As well. Oh, and we're out of money. Shit. Take a loan. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Now, you've accepted, but that doesn't mean you're actually going to join. Ah, uh, maybe. Alright, cool. Call you into this war. <laughs> um... And we'll join in on this. <clears throat> I mean, maybe, I mean, actually, you know what? We kind of need this battle. We need this battle. Because we're going to run out of money sooner than he does. But he will have some issues as well. I mean, we could just sack his capital, really. Uh, let's see what we'll... You know what I'll do? Let's not pay for our retinue. Um, let's see how that changes. Our income. Well, it's at least helping. Okay. So let's... Uh, instead... Go here. Are we in Bryska? I can't even say. We're not being attacked though, that's for sure. Okay, now we're being attacked. Uh, and we'll send reinforcements. We will... Okay. Whoa. I sent them in a little bit late. But we do have Force Defense and they're crossing a river. If we're there... Oh, no. Oh, my God. I think we made it just in time. But... Oh, shit. Our morale's already very low. Shit. Fuck. That was a bad maneuver. We were too late. Ah, uh, sure. Mary. And uh, have you joined this? Ah, oh, damn it. We got crushed. Um, yeah, that was speed 5. Not helping. Wait, are we actually... No, we're not gonna win. Okay, it's just increasing our casualty. Wait, what? We're somehow winning. How? Holy shit. We lost 14,000 men, but somehow we won this. We, yeah, we must have gotten some reinforcements later on. So our people were already routed, but then someone rallied them. And, and, and I just don't know who it was. I, I, I just, I mean, you can look back to see who it was, but I, I can't right now. And I can't remember who it was. I was so surprised. They turned a route uh, into a charge and we won. And we actually captured uh, the leader of the revolt, a Czech man who's Grand Duke of Swabia. Well, that's perfect, because that means we can end this freaking war. Okay, very good. Whew, what a battle. What a battle. Okay, let's um, stand down our personal levy, and let's get our troops home. My daughter has cancer, but she's done very well. And yeah, let's revoke the title. Uh, from the Grand Duke of Swabia. Let's see if we can revoke something else. Yes. Duchy of... Franconia. Yeah, that could be revoked. Unless, of course, I mean, he has titles here, so that's kind of stupid. Duchy of Hamburg. Does he have ac any... We could give it to the Hansa. Make them like us a little bit more. Maybe make them give us a little bit more money as well. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I'll revoke the... Duchy of Hamburg. Can I revoke more stuff? I can. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I will. But for now, let's go ahead and... Give you the... Duchy of Hamburg, make you like us a lot more, and that should give us also a lot more gold. At least that's my hope. Okay, so, um, there's a few people we could now imprison. Actually, only one. 
and executing him would make this guy his heir. You know what? I, I will do that, actually. I think this is the best. Instead of revoking every title um, on its own, we'll just kill him. And, uh, yeah, we've got a new person here ruling that is married to a French. Very good. Okay. And then I have the Grand Duchy of Swabia, which will give... To the Cremona? He's deaf. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? They've been under our rule for a long time. Yep, we'll give you the Grand Duchy of Swabia. There you go. So he likes us a lot. I just hope he won't rise up against us. Okay. Very good. Now, with 66 out of 47. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to change some laws. Um, right, we still can't do this because it's still in a war. Shit, I forgot about that. And can we please not... Uh, yeah, nobody attach, please. Just, just don't attach to me. And have our friend give some monetary aid. It's actually going to be much more useful to us. Unless it's like 10 gold. Oh, wow, he's not actually giving us anything. Okay, well, we'll manage somehow, but that is certainly disappointing. Okay, now, with negative 60, uh, is, can someone please do something? Um, I'm going to have Ireland siege this. This should be... Castile, and this should be Sardinia. There you go. Actually, ah, oh, whatever. You know what to do. I'll leave this to my allies now. I hope that uh, I hope that that will be enough, and I don't have to worry about it. Um. Yeah, I can't spare the gold right now. We have a loan to pay back, so maybe another time. Island's just kind of standing around now. Because they cannot follow their order, apparently. Because they've got no ships. Oh well. But we've improved relations with the Glory Faction. That's good. Man. And we need a son. How old's our wife? 45. Okay, so that's... That's the end of that. So we need a, we would need a new wife. Hmm. I don't know if I don't know if we we're going to do this. I don't think we will kill her. I think we're just going to have to live with it and hopefully live long. Wow, they're sieging this quickly, and they, they're gaining incredible amounts of war score. What's going on here? Uh, no, King of Sweden, you're not going to marry my heir. We'll have to wait. Be so nice if we could get some uh, male callings. I wonder if there's even any male callings around right now. Probably not. Um. Oh, shut up. We need a new chancellor. Duke of Alsace. Fine. We'll just pick the best possible. Really, and hope for the best. Okay, is anyone actually arriving? Yeah, okay. And, oh, look at this. Navarro is actually even doing stuff. Very nice. Aragon's helping us in our holy war. Perfect. Okay, so, yeah, this should be... We should be able to do this. Even though it's... Wow, negative 74. Oh, what are you doing? Don't tell me someone declared one could steal. Someone... F no, some, no, nobody did. What, what are you doing? Why are you not sieging this? Hmm. Um. Okay, Duchess Mabia really despises us. Oh well, we'll make the. Hmm. 
Didn't I had you as my advisor? Pretty certain. I don't know why you got kicked out. There must be a reason for it. Okay, I don't know who you are. I don't care about you. You, please. Yeah, destroy the army. Yes, very good. That's going to give us some war score. Then we'll siege this quickly. And we can at least finish one war here. Everyone wants everything from us. Man, I just hope that we're going to survive. Like another 20 years. That's really all I want. And... Oh, there's a calling. Hello. Maybe Raul could be the one we uh, vote for the Empire. That's That would be nice. If he becomes king, is that is that his goal? Yeah. If he wins... And he's got only got 2,000 men. I mean, he could win. If he wins, then he could be the calling that we vote for. Which would be great. And what happened to the Holy War? It just ended. Alright, I don't mind. I think this is good. But damn, these guys are very frustrating. Like, this war has been going on for four years. The greatest empire in the world... Versus the canneries. It takes four years. <laughs> and we're not even done. Like, this is just unseaging, you know, what they have sieged. And it's apparently taken very, very long. Okay, but our allies are finally doing it. Okay, perfect. Am I able to raise any men yet? No. Still nothing. Hmm. Yeah, but we're at 22%. Now, once this is taken, we should get some ticking war score as well. And yeah, the Hamadids... Oh, the Hamadids actually regained some strength. It looks like... Oh, the Sultanate of Egypt and the Levant has split. Making them obviously significantly weaker. 6,000 men? You've got 12,000. That could mean the Hamadids might have a chance if they weren't broke. Hmm. But yeah, that's obviously not our concern right now, what the Muslims do. Our concern is that we win this war, but I'm pretty confident that we will. So yeah, I'm going to have to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will be back next time uh, when we'll hopefully have a son, maybe, or something else uh, has developed positively. I'll see you then.